we talk a lot about dogs on this show and how they provide so much love and support for their humans. And today, we're going to put the spotlight on a different kind of service dog organization. Faithfully K9 Service Dogs trains both owner and dog simultaneously. Well, Kathy Kowalski and Eric Pettis plus Chispa are here to share more. Good morning to the three of you. How are you? Great. Great. Well, it's good to have you here, and I'll start with you, Kathy. What I thought was so unique about Faithfully K9 is that you train both owner and dog simultaneously. Now, why does that work? So first of all, I just want to thank Coco for letting nonprofits come in here. I just love that you guys do that. Of course. So how does it work, or why does it work? Because the dog is already living with the people. The dog mm -hmm. is already giving them support. Other organizations keep dogs in kennels. Our dogs live with the people. They have that freedom. They learn from that person. And the person gains self-confidence yeah. by doing the training themselves. They create that bond immediately. It's just, it's just great. It works so well. It seems like it really does. Why did you start this organization? So I worked at a different um, nonprofit that trained service dogs mm -hmm. but there was like a three to five year wait to get a dog oh boy these dogs are already with the people so we mm -hmm. like that I liked the idea of training people to train their own dogs so that they are invested in it so that they don't have to learn how to do it afterwards the dog learns respect and everything for that person all the way through so it's just really a great way to do it and then the people yeah. are getting help right away that is great that it can happen that quickly and it just makes such a big difference in their lives. Now, Eric, you were a client and now you are actually a trainer. Tell us what that process was like when you first started and, and what made you want to suddenly say, uh, now I want to be a trainer. Yeah, uh, like myself, um, a lot of our clients suffer from a mental health uh, condition. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, at the beginning of the training, uh, a lot of us are scared to go out in public or wow. have anxiety that revolves around um, gatherings. Um, and so going through the program, uh, I learned a lot of coping skills that helped me get over my condition as well. Yeah. Um, and that's what I see a lot through our clients now, just the happiness that a dog could, could bring and you know, their level of happiness overall increases as they finish the program. Yeah, Eric, that's wonderful. And, and may I add that Eric is a veteran. He is a U.S. veteran, served several years and also in law enforcement in Lakewood. So thank you for your service, thank Eric. And you. I hope that it has brought you some comfort. I could yeah. see it with that big <laughs> smile on your face. Thank now, you. what has Chispa learned? Can you demonstrate a little bit about yeah. what uh, Chispa can do? Yeah, uh, is it okay if I stand up? Yes, of course. Briefly? Um, so most of the commands are for for my uh, to create space in public areas uh -huh. and also to ground me. So okay. I'll demonstrate some of those. Okay. Just come here. Oh, so, um, when I'm in public, um, yeah. I get a little nervous sometimes. Of course. So I have him do center. <laughs> oh, good. Good boy. job. And this helps me ground me a little bit, uh, yeah. especially when I'm anxious. Um, to create space, I have him uh, lay in front of me. Okay. Come here. Front. Front. <laughs> He's, He's a, a little nervous too. Of course he is. Front. This is a new experience. Front. Yay! Good job. Pizza. Good job. Oh. Free. Good that job. is just Under. wonderful. How long is was the process for you, and what kind of difference has it made in your life? Um, the process was about a year. Okay. Um, so my journey is a little unique. I, I was in the army. Mm -hmm. I later served with the Lakewood Police Department, um, and now I'm in school to be a, a mental health counselor. Good for you. Um, so, I mean, he's brought me a lot of joy. Um, I could say that he helped me through some of the darkest times of my life um, yeah. and helped me overcome uh, some of the trauma I experienced. Well, good for <laughs> you, Eric, Thank and you. good for you too, Cheese Bun. It looks like you are on the right path <laughs> to you. even greater things, so congrats on that, Eric. Thank you, And Appreciate Kathy, it. before we run out of time, I'm so sorry, um, you have an event coming up, and I want to make sure we get to that. <laughs> Tell us so about it. So Wolfstock is September 16th. It's up okay. in Conifer at the Little White Schoolhouse. It's music, silent auction. It's our main fundraiser. We don't charge veterans or first responders, so we rely on things like this to help us get through and keep providing our services. And also, if anybody had anything they want to donate to our silent auction, give us a call. 
great organization and certainly one to be a part of. Thank you both for being with us, <laughs> Kathy, and for the work that you do in and out every single day. Thanks. Thank you. Of course. Okay, learn more about faithfully canine service dogs and attend Wolfstock on September the 16th. It's from 3 to 7 at the Little White Schoolhouse in Conifer. Get tickets, more info on the website, faithfullycanine.com, or give them a call. That's a bone.